Hi. An unmentioned factor of the crisis is the astounding lack of fight back and opposition. Over the previous decade of austerity against all social and political logic, we've drifted ever further rightward. The official opposition, Labour, are and will remain unelectable. The entire Stalino Trotskyite Leninist left of back the Corbyn project and are effectively wedded to Labour. Their only function seems to be the fire blanketing and sabotage of any independent autonomous manifestation that could question and challenge the system. Since the C-19 crisis, the opposition on the streets has come from Black Lives Matter, Extinction Rebellion and the anti-maskers. To various degrees, uh, they all are, or are morphing into cults, offering no serious challenge despite the panic in number 10. Until, literally, the first barricades are erected, the, estab the establishment can breathe easy. As for the anarchists, and those of a similar mentality, who should be thriving and creating subversive revolutionary alternatives, they are, alas, consumed with middle-class irrelevancies, such as identity and lifestyle politics. A one-way ticket to nowheresville. The whole concept of revolution seems to have passed them by for the time being. The next part of this crisis is the most tragic, and that is the condition of the working class, the majority of the population, the inability so far to mount any challenge to the system, screwing them right, left and centre, and casting them into irrelevance and impoverishment. We'll return to this theme soon. Bye.